many different models that we will use to multiply decimals either with a whole number or by another decimal. Our first model is for a decimal times a whole number and it's the repeated addition model that requires us to use a hundreds grid or more than one hundreds grid. Our first step to solve this problem, 0 and 22 hundredths times 5, is going to be to color the grid to model the decimal. We've done repeated addition models in the past this year, and we know that this problem could be rewritten with a 5 first times the 0 and 22 hundredths, which would mean I need 5 groups of 22 hundredths. So the first thing I'm going to do is color in that first group of 22 hundredths. Well, if this represents one whole, then 22 hundredths would be 22 pieces. There are 10 in each row, so there's 10, 20, and then I would need 1, 2. Well, that was 22 hundredths one time. I need it five times. I'm not going to finish coloring in this third row because I'm afraid I'm going to lose count of how many times I've colored it in. And I do have enough space to go ahead and move over and do another two whole rows. That's 10, 20 hundredths, 21, 22. So now I've colored it in twice, and I need to do this. I keep repeating this step until I have colored in 22 hundredths five times. There's one, two, three. Here would be the fourth, 10, 20. 21, 22, and as I'm going back, I can tell how many times I've colored it because of these 20s and then the little 2. So there was 1, 2, 3, 4 times I've colored it, and this will be the final time, the fifth time. 10, 20, 21, 22. So I repeated that as many times as I needed until I did it five times. And now all I need to do to solve is count or add together the total number of colored pieces. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 pieces. Well, 100 pieces would have made a whole, right? So, so far I have one whole. Do a little work off to the side here. I've counted all of my 10 columns. And then I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 more pieces. And that's ten hundredths. So when I put that together, I have one and ten hundredths. But I don't have to have that decimal at the end. So my answer is also, I can leave that off, one and one tenth. And I found that by coloring in the decimal, however many times it was being multiplied by. Our next model is for a decimal times a decimal, and it's called an array model. Our problem this time is 1 and 3 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths, and this model is a little bit more complex. The very first thing I need to do is draw a product box, because this is where my answer is going to be, and really all that is is a big square. So I have my square ready, and I'm ready for step two. Divide the box into columns. Columns are vertical, up and down, to match the first decimal. So my first decimal is one and three tenths. And so now I need to cut this box to show one whole and three tenths. I have a hint here for you. Draw the tenths first, and then divide the remaining space into columns matching the whole numbers, which here I will just have one. So I need three tenths. Well, if you think about tenths on our hundreds grid, those were tall and skinny. So that's what my tenths should look like here. There's one, there's two, and three. So these tall, skinny columns are representing my tenths. I had three of them. And then this would represent the one whole that I have here. Now my model's not done, but I want you to see the second step clearly. So here's the first step, one and three tenths. The next step is to divide the product box into rows, rows go across, to match the second decimal. Now remember to start with the tenths, it makes it easier. All right, so I've got two and five tenths, and I need to do rows going across. I've already got my one and three tenths, now I need my two and five tenths. 
so I need five tenths, and those are perfectly straight. There's two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five tenths, and then I need two holes this time. So this is all the space that I have left, and I need it to be cut into two for my two holes. So I'm going to split it in half. And this is going to be my hole, because this was also one hole, and there's my three-tenths. This is a hole. Here's where the model gets a little bit tricky. These long skinnies are tenths. Okay, I've got five of those here. But notice how these are much smaller. These right here are my hundredths. What are these? Well, these are tall and skinny, too, and these are tenths. So all tenths in this model won't look alike, which can be a little tricky. But you know you've got hundredths when a tenth is being cut by another tenth, and it makes these little squares. Our drawing does need to be neat here, not perfect, but neat, so that we can pick apart our parts because of this next step. The final step is to add all the parts together to find the product. So I've got two holes, which is the same as two and nothing. And I'm going to the hundredths place because my smallest piece here is the hundredths. Now I want to count out my tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, eleven tenths. Well, how do I write that? Well, there is a way to write 11 tenths, but let me show you something else first. We'll talk about the other in a second. I can add these tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths, write that down, and then add these tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths, and write that down. And again, I'm going to go ahead and add the zero in this hundredths place because I'm getting ready to have to add some hundredths. All right, now I said that there was another way to do that. Let me come over here. I still have my two holes. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. Ten tenths would be one whole, but then I have an extra. So I have one whole and one extra tenth. Either way, this is going to give me the same answer, all right? Now my hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundredths. We add that in both places. We'll see that we'll get the same answer. Five, two, three, or, let's add them up over here, five. Five and six is 11 plus one more is 12, carrying, bringing down my decimal, two plus one more is three. So either way I added up my tenths, notice it gives me the same answer of three and 25 hundredths. That would be the product of 1 and 3 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. I would like for you to use these two models to solve in your math journal. We'll start with the repeated addition model, and I should have given you some hundreds grids to glue in your math journal so that you can color in the hundreds grid to solve 0 and 3 tenths times 6. And then I want you to draw an array model to solve 2 and 7 tenths times 3 and 2 tenths. Columns times rows.